welcome today to the webinar. So you see here first a picture of the Department of Psychology faculty and staff. And I'm going to talk today about the experimental research program at Cleveland State University. My name is Connor McLennan. I'm both the director of the experimental research program and the chair of the Department of Psychology. I also want to mention that you can see the QR code here and some other links throughout today's webinar. We plan to post the webinar on our department website, so if you don't get a chance to scan the QR code or follow any of the links during the presentation, you're welcome to come back after and take another look. I'd also encourage you to follow us on social media so you can see our Twitter handle and also like us on Facebook. We post information relevant to psychology and psychological science and also related to our graduate programs. Okay, so some objectives for today's webinar. I'm going to introduce you to the experimental research program faculty. I'm going to talk a little bit about our experimental research program labs, the courses and the structure of the program, and I'll say a bit about the ERP alumni. I'll talk a little bit about the application process and what's involved to apply to our graduate program, and there'll be time at the end for a Q&A session if you have any questions. So first, some highlights of the experimental research program. The program offers rigorous scientific research training, also hands-on laboratory experience, and direct mentoring from productive research faculty. We also have travel funds available for students who are presenting at scientific conferences. And our program provides effective preparation for doctoral programs and or research careers, including careers directly from the masters. Before I go any further talking about the experimental research program, I also want to mention that we have other psychology masters specializations in the department, including the industrial organizational research program, the clinical psychology program, and the school psychology program. So if you're interested in learning more about our other programs, you can take a look online. So you can go to csuohio.edu backslash grad psych. Okay, so next I'll introduce you to the experimental program faculty. So again, I'm Dr. McLennan, and my research interests include language perception, bilingualism, cognitive aging, and password security. We also have Dr. Allard, whose research interests include emotion regulation, effective processing, and cognitive aging. Dr. Judge's work involves research on dementia, memory loss, Alzheimer's disease, family caregiving, and cognitive rehabilitation. Dr. Slifkin is interested in motor control, motor imagery, and motor movements. Dr. Smith is interested in reading, memory, and also nutrition and diet. And finally, we have Dr. Vail, whose work involves social psychology, including terror management theory and political and religious belief. Okay, next I'll mention the experimental research program labs. So each of the core faculty members in the program is the director of a research program, uh, often that involves research labs. So in my work, I'm the director of the Language Research Laboratory. Dr. Allard is the director of the Aging, Cognition, and Emotion Lab, or the ACE Lab. Dr. Judge Again, her work involves dementia and family caregiving research. Dr. Slifkin is the director of the Action Laboratory. Dr. Smith conducts work on reading, memory, nutrition, and diet. 
And Dr. Vale is the director of the Social Psychology and Exis Existential Attitudes Research Lab, or the SPEAR Lab. So part of what students in our program get training on are the research facilities that are relevant or appropriate for their area of research. So some of the facilities that we have available in our department and as part of our experimental research program include eye tracking technology, event related potentials or EEG potentials, galvanic skin response, and more depending on the area of research. So again, students in our graduate program get training working in a lab or working in a research program with their faculty and mentor, and they also, as part of that training, get access to and training in the relevant research facilities and research methodologies and techniques. Okay, next I'll explain a bit about the coursework and the structure of the program. So the experimental research program includes both required courses and elective courses. So as part of the required credits, we have 29 credits that include pro-seminar in experimental psychology. So this is a course in part in professional development. This is a one credit course that students take each of the four semesters in the program. So a total of four credits. And in this course, part of what students will hear are talks from faculty members and other researchers in the field, and students themselves will give talks. So we like to refer to these as pep talks. There are also a couple of graduate level statistics courses, and then some content courses that are part of the required coursework. So you can see social psychology, learning, memory, and cognition, and foundations of cognitive and behavioral neuroscience are part of the core content required in the program. And finally, for the required courses, the required credits include research and thesis. So students in this program conduct a thesis, and they register for a total of eight credits of research and thesis. So in addition to the 29 credits of required courses and coursework and research, we also have nine elective credits. Part of the elective credits include a special topics course where students get exposure to multiple faculty members' areas of research. Okay, so the structure of the program is 38 credits total, 29 required and nine elective, spread over two academic years. So we have admission in a fall, so you would start in the fall semester and you would then graduate the following academic year in the spring. And students in our program leave the program having gained both general skills and expertise in a specific research area. So the general skills include both research methods and statistics that allow students to be competitive applicants to PhD programs or to research related positions. The specific area of research in which students gain some level of expertise includes their thesis related research and possibly other research that they're working on with core members of the program. So graduates of the experimental research program are well prepared for doctoral training or for a variety of careers, including in academia or research positions. Okay, so I'll say a, a bit about the alumni and what some of our alumni have gone on to do after graduating from the program. So Many of our students go on to doctoral training, and they've gone to a variety of different types of programs and to different universities. So I'll just share some examples. So Kent State University's doctoral program in educational and health psychology, Ohio University's doctoral program in experimental psychology, and many more, including Penn State, Purdue, Virginia Commonwealth, and others. Students go on to these PhD programs and then graduate from the programs and go on to careers in academia, including tenure-track positions. Some of our alumni are now professors 
at various universities. Many of our students go directly to PhD programs, but many of our students also go on to employment directly following the master's degree, including to a variety of research-related careers, such as positions at the Cleveland Clinic, university hospitals, nationwide children's hospital, and more. Okay, so if you're interested in applying to the program, and I hope that you are, our applications are now handled through SciCAS, so the centralized application system in psychology. So you would first create an account in SciCAS, and I encourage you to do so if you're interested in applying to our programs. Once you create the account in SciCAS, you would log in, and you would see that there are four quadrants that you would complete. So some general information, like personal information, your academic history, and supporting information, including your letters of recommendation, those are all completed regardless of which program or programs you're applying to. And then the final quadrant in the bottom right-hand corner, the program materials, these are materials that are unique to the specific program or programs that you're applying to. So if you're applying to the experimental research program, you would supply information specific to our program in SciCAS. So one of the requirements for the experimental research program and many other graduate programs are the GRE general. We do not require the GRE psychology specific test, but we do require the GRE general test. The code that you would supply in order to have your GRE scores sent over to SciCAS for CSU is 4576. Then we would also need other components of your application, such as your academic transcripts, your letters of recommendation, and a personal statement. And all of these materials are submitted in SciCAS. Applicants to our program should also have some preparation in psychology or a related discipline. You don't necessarily need to have been a psychology major, but you should have some relevant preparation. And if you have any questions about your preparation for our program, I encourage you to reach out to me or any of the other core members of our program. Another important component when applying to the experimental research program is considering your match with faculty research interests. So I had already briefly gone over our research interests, and of course you can find more on our department website. So I would encourage you to familiarize yourself with the faculty member or members with whom you might like to work, and in your personal statement, make sure you're clear about the overlapping research interests. And our deadline for the application is February 10th. And I would be happy to answer any questions you have about our program. And I'd be happy to do that now. Uh, and or if you think of questions later, you can feel free to send me an email. Again, you can scan the QR code or follow the link to learn more about the experimental research programs and our other programs here in the Department of Psychology.